this episode, we said that listening skills have been classified into auditory discrimination tests and auditory comprehension tests. The auditory discrimination tests are easy to prepare and to administer because they involve only the recognition of similarities and or differences in words, phrases, or sentences. These differences may be in the sounds that make up the words, or in the stress, pitch, juncture, or intonation. In developing auditory discrimination tests, it is important that you know the sounds the learners have difficulty in, such as the sound of F, TH, TH, and Z, Z. However, there are some auditory tests which are rather different. The first one we will show you is similar to a spelling test. It tests the ability to associate letter name and symbol. Watch how this test is administered. Class, in this tape recording, we will hear the voices of Mona and Fred as they spell out some words. Write down the words as you hear them, okay? I will now play the tape. G-I-V-E-N G-I-V-E-N D-E-A-V-E-R B-E-A-V-E-R J A I L E D J A I L E D M A N N E D M A N N E D Note that in this test the test taker should be able to write the word correctly not because he knows how the word is spelled out but because he can associate the letter name and the grapheme. Furthermore, he is able to discriminate between similar sounds like E and A, G and J, M and N. There are also listening tests that focus on the student's ability to pay attention to grammatical relationships within the flow of natural spoken English. In one item type, the teacher says a sentence while the testees listen. Then the testees repeat the sentence. The teacher says the sentence again, then the testees write the sentence. Watch how this item type, the listen, repeat, Right item is administered. Did you buy this car or the other car? Did you buy this car or the other car? Did you buy this car or the other car? Did you buy this car or the other car? Note that in this item type, the test taker has to be aware of blending, such as did you and the other. If you have decided to have items of this type, be sure to use simple words because they may be difficult to spell. Likewise, the sentences should not be too long. This exercise can be a preliminary exercise to a longer dictation activity. Here's another grammar-based listening test. This time, the students listen to a stimulus sentence and to three other sentences. They then decide which of the last three sentences is closest in meaning to the first sentence. The options are found in the student's answer sheets. Now let's watch how the test is administered. 
Class, I'm going to say one sentence, and then I'm going to say three other sentences. Select from among the three sentences that which you think is the closest in meaning to the first sentence. Okay? The three sentences are given in your answer sheets. What I would like you to do is to encircle the letter of the sentence of your choice. The sentence is, You're going to be very disappointed with me. The choices are, A, You're going to have an appointment with me. B, You'll make it a point to come with me. And C, you're going to be upset with me. Kindly encircle the letter of the sentence of your choice. Class, what is the correct answer? A, B, or C? C! Did you notice that the correct answer is the correct paraphrase of the stimulus? You may recall that the stimulus was presented orally and the testes did not see its written form. On the other hand, the responses are found in the answer sheet, since we cannot expect the testes to remember all the options. The distractors are possible wrong interpretations of the sentence stimulus. In real life, there are many situations where accuracy in listening is necessary. For example, we may listen closely to a song because we want to get the lyrics. So a song can be used as a stimulus for a listening test. The item type that we can very well use here is the oral close. This is what you should do. Select an unfamiliar song. Delete some words or phrases. Give copies of the mutilated text to the class. Sing the song or play a recording. Have the pupils restore the missing words or phrases. The oral close is an adaptation of the basic close test where the words are deleted at regular intervals. To make the oral close more realistic, the test developer may delete words and phrases of his choice. Class, look at your own copies of the song which I gave you earlier. As you can very well notice, some of the words are missing. What I would like you to do is to listen to me as I sing the song. And as I sing the song, put in the missing words on the spaces provided for. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. To dream the impossible dream. To fight the unbeatable foe. To bear the unbearable sorrow To run where the brave dare not go To right the unrightable wrong To love pure and chase from afar To try when your arms are too weary To reach the unreachable star What skills are necessary in order to put in the words? Yes, auditory acuity to recognize such phrases as unbeatable foe, unbearable sorrow, dare not go, unrightable wrong, and too weary. For testing purposes, you can sing or play the tape three times, just like what we did in the listen, repeat, write test. But this time, of course, the testees don't repeat the lines. They just listen and write. Earlier in this episode, we also said that authentic texts such as news reports and advertisements may be used as stimuli for listening tests. We will talk about this when we return.